This clip is about the basics of Zim. At first we should have a look at the built-in help pages. They may be found via the help menu or via the function key F1. The help pages of Zim are written in Zim and so they may serve as a good example. Let's search help about a keyword, like links. There are hits at many pages, sorted by their importance. The most important last, or the most important first. There are various types of links, all explained at the fingertip. At the bottom of the page there is a find field which may be hidden or reactivated which shows the hits at the given page. Batteries included. There is also a find and replace functionality <laughs> if you have write permissions to the Zimbook. This is not the case in the help page. But going back to our Zim book, Zim demo book, we can switch write permissions on and off and there we find a replace menu where everything you expect is there. The index pane gives you a, a hierarchical view on the page in alphabetical order. If order matters, it may be handy to give the pages appropriate names. Therefore, I am in the habit of giving a numbered prefix every page so I know the, the order in advance. Now, where can the pages be found? So let's have a look. Let's start a terminal and let's go to the help pages. They are in user share the manual and we have these files here where we see text files and directories. Let's have a look at the hierarchical tree which may be displayed via a find command for fi files sorted into a pager. And now we have the about page as a text file, the box page as a text file, the help directory with the attachments file and uh, the export directory is also there which may be HTML files and so on. The contents within a page may be organized with with headings. There are levels 1 to 5 and we are we can we find the headings in a separate pane and can navigate within the page with those headings. And last but not least there is also a built-in tagging functionality which is described in the help page. So much for a short sightseeing. Let's face some basics on editing. There are typical formatting capabilities, many of them with sh keyboard shortcuts and they are also available via menu entries. Indent is done with tabulator tab or unindent with shift tab. Marked lines may be transformed into a numbered list or into a bullet list as well. A region or a word may be formatted bold or verbatim or as a special mark and finally in Italy. 
within the presentation it's nice to zoom in and out with just a key stroke. And to come back to normal size with just Ctrl 0. Another very useful feature is spell checking. We can put just this button on and find that we get suggestions how to spell the words right. Editing in Zim is just a pleasure. The last basics topic covers navigation. Efficient navigation is an important requirement when it comes to navigate between many pages of a big Zim book. Another notebook may be opened via file dialog or control O. The available notebooks may be sorted by name. New notebooks may be added via the add button and unneeded notebooks may be removed with the remove button. Note that remove doesn't delete data but just deletes the entry from this list. To open a Zimbook just mark the Zimbook and press OK or double click the, the entry. The usual way to leave a Zimbook is file menu quit or Ctrl Q. The search works like a combination of find and grab over a full file system tree of the Zimbook. Search finds full words, but the wildcard asterisk is allowed. Typically you get many hits from a search. They may be sorted via score or page name. If the search pattern is found within the page name, the score is very high. Left click the page to visit the hits. And find the hits with the next and previous button on the same page. We are looking for notebook entries and surprise, surprise, we are back again with basics navigation. One additional note to search. We efficiently find pages we worked on recently under the menu recent changes. They are sorted chronologically. Besides any pop-up window may not only be removed with this X, but also with the key Escape. Escape. For navigating in the history, there is, like in browsers, also a taskbar. Or, if you like more, the back and forth button here. All the keyboard shortcuts with alternate keys left and right. Chronology and time is one dimension, the password, and the other is the hierarchical order. Hierarchical navigation is done within the index panel, which may be switched on and off with F9 or via menu. The index pane is indeed a browser. You can expand or collapse single branches of the pages tree or with right click expand them all or collapse them all. The wanted page is then selected with the left click. There are also keyboard shortcuts for the index pane with alternate key and the Go menu. Finally, let's insert references to pages with drag and drop, like this or like this. And we can visit such links or back with just a click. Easy operation, isn't it? Thanks, Chap, for giving us this excellent tool. I like the share of knowledge. Thanks for watching.